don't forget your mittens. Molly's parents warn her every morning. And every day Molly promises to remember. But how can she think of mittens when the class turtle catches a cold? The winter musical practice goes wild and the school bus gets stuck in the snow. Two by two, Molly's mittens join the lost and found pile, which keeps growing and growing and growing. So be careful, my friends. You might laugh so hard when we read this book that you misplace your own mittens. A Mountain of Mittens by Lynn Plord Illustrated by Mitch Vane. It was that time of year again. Don't forget your mittens at school, yelled Molly's parents. Nope, I won't, answered Molly. Molly still had her mittens during morning recess, during lunch recess, and during afternoon recess. But just as she put on her mittens to leave school at the end of the day, she heard a teensy weensy sneeze. Choo! There, shivering and quivering in the corner of the terrarium, was the class turtle, Myrtle. Choo! Choo! Oh, bless you, bless you, Myrtle Turtle. You must be catching a cold, said Molly. Here, cuddle in my mittens. They'll keep you cozy. After school, Molly's teacher, Mr. Jolly, discovered Molly's mittens, along with a few other mittens. He put them in the lost and found pile and mumbled, They forgot their mittens. Mittens, mittens, my, oh my, a mountain of mittens piled up high. The next day, Molly's parents velcroed Molly's mittens to her jacket. So did the other kids' parents. Don't forget your mittens at school, yelled Molly's parents. Nope, I won't. No way, answered Molly. Molly still had her mittens during morning recess, during lunch recess, and during afternoon recess. But at the end of the day, Molly and her whole grade practiced their winter musical on stage with Miss Holly, the music teacher. Miss Holly played the piano with her fingers and jingled bells with her toes as Molly and all the other students followed in their winter clothes. They even practiced opening and closing the stage curtains and taking a bow. After school, Miss Holly discovered Molly's mittens along with a few other mittens. She put them in the lost and found pile and mumbled and grumbled. They forgot their mittens. Mittens, mittens, my oh my, a mountains of mittens piled up high. The next day, Molly's parents crocheted her mittens together with a chain of yarn. So did all the other kids' parents. Don't forget your mittens at school, yelled Molly's parents. Nope, I won't, no way, no how, answered Molly. Molly still had her mittens during morning recess, during lunch recess, and during afternoon recess. But just as Molly put on her mittens at the end of the day for the ride home, Mr. Golly's bus went 
slippery slide slosh and slid off the snowy road. Oh, golly, Mr. Golly, said Molly. Don't worry, we'll help. Molly and the other students used the yarn chains on their mittens to lasso, yank, tug, and pull the bus back onto the road. After all the students were safely bussed home, Mr. Golly discovered Molly's mittens, along with a few other mittens. He drove back to the school, put them in the lost and found pile, and mumbled and grumbled and rumbled. They forgot their mittens. Mittens, mittens, my oh my, a mountain of mittens piled up high. The next day, Molly's parents duct taped Molly's mittens to her jacket. So did all the other kids' parents. Don't forget your mittens at school, yelled Molly's parents. Nope, I won't. No way, no how. Not me, answered Molly. Molly still had her mittens during morning recess, during lunch recess, and during afternoon recess. But at the end of the day, just as Molly put on her mittens, the principal, Mrs. Folly, called an emergency assembly. Mrs. Folly announced into the microphone, no one, I repeat, no one will be allowed to leave school today until you all reclaim your mittens from the lost and found pile. Yikes, said Molly, the bus is waiting. So she dove into the lost and found pile along with a few other students. Grip, stick, stuck. Molly and the other students were duct taped to the pile. Holy mittens, yelled Mrs. Folly. We can't have our students stuck at school overnight. So Mrs. Folly hollered, Help! Then Mr. Jolly, Miss Holly, Mr. Golly, and Mrs. Folly tussled and tugged to try to free Molly and the other students. Grip, stick, stuck. They got stuck too. Molly, Mr. Jolly, Miss Holly, Mr. Golly, Miss Folly, and more. My, oh my, a mountain of people piled up high. Meanwhile, Molly's parents paced and fretted. Where, oh, where is Molly? We're worried. She's late. When they called the school and got no answer, they quickly dialed 911. Then Molly's parents raced to school along with a few other parents and police officers and firefighters and ambulance workers with special snip snapping cutting equipment and super duper teamwork everyone was freed from the duct tape in no time flat hooray yelled molly along with a few other students. Hooray! yelled Molly's parents, along with a few other parents. Everyone high-fived and hurried home for supper. Everyone, that is, except Mr. Jolly, Miss Holly, Mr. Golly, and Mrs. Folly. They mumbled and grumbled and rumbled and roared. 
You forgot your mittens! Mittens, mittens, my oh my, a mountain of mittens piled up high. Hello friends, what a fun winter story. I hope you never lost your mittens. I don't usually lose my mittens. I usually just lose one. Well, if you like this book, I have many others. If you'll just come take a look at my channel, Storytime with Lorelei. And please click like and then share this video with all of your friends. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.